Exercise benefits us in so many different ways. Quite often we think about losing weight or gaining strength or building muscle mass when we think of exercise. Now we recently did a video where we took a look at how exercise changes our bodies at a cellular level. But what about our minds? Much has been said about how we should play games and do puzzles to help keep our minds sharp. Now it's been established that our cognitive functions start to decline at 24 years of age. I'll leave a link in the description to a study that backs this up. It's a very interesting read as it shows how we use our life experience and skill development to help overcome this cognitive decline. This study tracked 3,000 people between the ages of 16 and 44 while they played the game StarCraft II. Now I hadn't even heard of this game before I read this study, but it turns out it's a huge online game. Now the rate in which our mental functions decline is in our control. And whether we are young or we are older, being physically active now will not only build bigger muscles, but it'll give us a bigger brain too. The research-based evidence indicates that we can slow down the rate in which our minds age by at least 10 years. And I suspect it can be much more. But what about those of us that didn't start exercising when we were young? Is there any chance for us to regain the mental sharpness that we once had? Well, they took a group of people that were over 65 and inactive, but mentally healthy, and they put them on a moderate intensity walking program. And after a year of progressive training, these ones had improved memory, and they showed increased volume in the hippocampus the area of the brain that combines short-term memories and turns them into long-term memories. Now most of the research has been done on cardiovascular exercise and the reason why they feel that aerobic training is so beneficial is because it promotes heart health which in turn increases blood flow providing nutrient-rich blood to the neurons. But what about strength training? Does it have any benefits for our mind? Now in recent years they have started to do more research on the effects of progressive resistance training or weight training on our mental abilities and our memory function. Now one of these such tests, they took 155 older ladies and they split them into two groups. One group did weight training and the other group was the control group and they did what they called balance and tone. Now after one year, the women who did the weight training performed better on cognitive tests of memory learning and executive function, such as decision-making and conflict resolution. So we see resistance training and cardio both benefit our mental abilities. Now they theorize it's for different reasons. While cardio is for the increased blood flow, they feel that the strength training is because of how it promotes nerve growth. But the bottom line is that both will help us regain and maintain the mental sharpness we once had. So not only will we be lean and buff as we age, but we'll be as mentally sharp as we were in our 20s. This is Lawrence from Fit and 50, signing out. Keep working harder at getting smarter while having fun, and we will talk to you again in that next video.